What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the Brown Gen. We've got our seventh Ask Me Anything. So for those of you who love to sort of post these random questions about whatever topics whenever I'm making a video, this is the time to get the answers. And guys, like I try to kind of keep these videos separate, right? So the AMAs are really to dive deep into whatever your guys' questions are. And really like the other videos are to be very crisp, clear, and to the point, because I've had a ton of feedback from people in the past that, hey, uh, I'd watch, I want to watch one of your videos, but it's an hour and a half long. They obviously didn't know the first 10, 15 minutes was actually the topic, and the next hour and 15 minutes was really just an open discussion. So the clarity has really helped. And in fact, I've noticed since I started doing that, the views on the first videos have gone up. The views on the AMAs have always been stagnant and not really doing well, but I want to sort of continue doing this as long as the people show up for them. Remember, as always, we have a private group. If you sort of want more guidance and just sort of AMAs related stuff, we can walk through things, uh, get the full like, you know, coaching packages of sort, uh, you know, check that out in the description below. Now, you know, while we wait, the crypto market is doing fantastic. You know, we noticed the fear and greed index is bumping back up. Just remember, the deeper we go into extreme greed, just be a little more wary around some of the things you have. Don't be going all in like super deep on leverage and stuff like that. You know, you know, I, I, I say, you know, don't try to avoid using leverage, but if you have to use leverage, use it to go long when stuff is, you know, at an extreme fear, not with extreme greed. Extreme greed is a time, you know, we celebrate, look, Ethereum is about to hit 4K. Uh, this is an all time high, or you know, maybe it's very close to the all time high uh, for this year. Anyways, look, the last all time high, I believe was 4,600, but you know, still pretty good. Uh, and you know, we, this is why I'm super bullish on this market. Like very, very bullish, even though, you know, short term, we may see a bit of turbulence. Let's just say, so let's see what's in the comments here. Um, it is apparent to me that always, although we always think we are doing the best airdrop, there is always going an underrated one going on in the background that no one is watching. That will do better. Uh, so watchful, I, I, I would say that it's tough sometimes. And, you know, one of the things I will say here is, you know, even people will tell me, hey, I, I, I shared this with you. Why didn't you do it? Like, for example, someone mentioned a fly or something. But the problem with people think when they share it, like that's just them. Like they send me 40 like protocols and somehow I'm supposed to know that one of these is going to be the diamond in the rough. The reality is unless someone is able to share with you a compelling reason as to why you should prioritize something, you should use your own judgment. Because remember, like the, the whole reason I have um, kind of this thing out here, right, is I think this is super important, right? Like planning, prioritizing, monitoring, efficiency, time management, alerts, and reminders. Guys, there's a there's a reason that you can be successful. And at the reality is you will never, you will never be able to make sure you catch every single one of them. But what you don't want to have happen is like, for example, let me paint a picture. You, you get the... You miss out on the wormhole airdrop, let's just say, and you watch everyone else get thousands of dollars, but then the, the, the airdrops you did are coming out and they're paying you five or ten dollars, right? You're gonna start looking at yourself going, Hey, I clearly focus on the wrong things. But the thing is, these things give clues, right? Like you can tell likely from most protocols what is gonna be worth it and what's not. Something like parcel is very unique. That's why I, I'm super into it. It's just like it's the I think it's the only real estate um, kind of perpetuity system I've seen. Uh, and it's also on the Solana ecosystem, which is seeing a ton of liquidity. Same with Camino Finance. I think it's better than Margin Fi, And that's why I've sort of, I don't want to say gone, gone all in, but I got like 10, 8 to 10K on there. It's whatever. Um, but you've got to be fine with saying, hey, I'm going to miss out on some airdrops. But you want to make sure that the you know, airdrops you do hit are impactful. There's no point getting an airdrop that costs that makes you five bucks. Like, what are you gonna celebrate? Like, half of them is gonna cost you more to claim in gas fees than you're gonna get. That being said, this is why on this channel I'm I keep it a priority to re-emphasize to you guys the things I think that are important. I've just done a video on Solana. You guys already know what I think about the EVM chains. Just farm them, farm ZK Sync, farm layer zero, farm blast, farm mode, right? I make these videos for a reason. It's, it's specifically because I don't want to send you guys on wild goose chases. But the reality is you guys got to be open to it and saying, hey, at, at a certain point, enough is enough. 
I can't take on every single project. Which ones are going to give me the highest ROI? And that is sort of the reality. And obviously, having a group of people will sort of help you. And that's sort of what we aim to do in the Web3 Secret Society. I try to tune out 90% of the noise, get rid of all the garbage. And I mean, still people will bring things up. But that's something you can do on your spare time, free time. And like, you know, if you've already got your bases covered, what I don't want to see is people, you know, propping up things that are, you know, not going to really drive anything for you, but waste your time, right? Like, for example, B Squared Network, right? I did that airdrop to testnet campaign. And yesterday I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to bother doing any more of this. It's just not worth my time. If they do airdrop something, it'll be like five to 10 bucks. I'm going to focus on things like Linea, Scroll, Chroma, whatever. Obviously, gas change, uh, gas charges pending because right now we've taken a bit of a break, cooling it down a tiny bit as the EVM chains are super hot with the price of Ethereum and the rest of the market. So that's sort of my recommendation. But also, like if someone's telling you something and they're giving you a bunch of um, kind of protocols, just ask this simple question. What about this specific protocol makes you think it'll do better than any others? A lot of people don't know, and they've just been told that this protocol is good or the other protocol is good. So they'll just try to do everything. You want to separate yourself. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on what's good. And once you get really good at focusing on what's good, then maybe you can farm those on multiple wallets and not waste your time on you know small potato things anyway. I've seen AT1 has called me brownie uh, three or four times. Uh, I'm going to take that as a compliment, not an insult. <laughs> uh, can you tell us more about Matic? Um, Sorry, like, 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 what, what do you want to know? So, so Matic is going to be um, called. It's going to change or kind of, um, I don't say evolve, but basically transform into Pole Token, and they're basically going to work on being an aggregate layer. So, basically, becoming technology very similar to support like things like Celestia, which, which is modular, right? So, the reason I wanted to get Matic staked right now is. One, when the shift happens, I'm so good for it. But I also think that this is going to be technology that's going to be used by a ton of protocols in the future. And I want to cash in on those airdrops. I believe, you know, Matic also, what's really nice, I'm just going to go to CoinMarketCap to show you guys. One of the things I always do when I get tokens, sometimes it doesn't matter as much, but especially with these newer tokens, a lot of them have a high max supply or total supply versus their circulating supply. But if you look at Matic, almost like 99% of it is circulating. So what dilutions are coming, right? Compare that to other tokens where like, you know, they've got high valuations and only like, you know, 10% or 20% are circulating. I don't believe it's too start uh, too late to start. And I it's hard to give expectations. I just expect that this will be paid off you know handsomely in the future like the problem is people always want me to give like strict numbers i i'm not a mind reader i can't see the future if i could see the future i you know my life would be a lot different let's just say you know what i mean i could read minds same thing too so i don't know but i'm making an educated guess based on what i've seen with celestia and what you know the exact same thing what i told you guys would happen with dimension where dimension will get adopted and how i if you guys watch my video when dimension came out and i said hey I'm going to rank Dimension as my second biggest airdrop thing in the IBC ecosystem. And yesterday or two days ago, we found out there are six airdrops coming for Dimension. What? Can I just see the future? No, but I can make an educated guess knowing full well how this system is built up, which means that they will be adopted into a ton of other protocols. And when that happens, they tend to reward those who stake it. So that's why I did it. I hope that makes sense. Hey, Scorpio, how are you doing? Um, Brandon says, I did margin five with my BSOL and have lent slash borrowed. Have you heard any updates and any drops from margin five as of yet? Um, no, I haven't. So um, I know people were talking about margin five. And what I will say to you guys is I was a little bit late on Solana. And, you know, I got into like I used to use it before. Don't get me wrong. But I wasn't using it to airdrop farm until sort of know when and the jupiter airdrop sort of came uh to prominence in which case i said you know what i'm gonna stop dragging my feet i looked at margin fi and i just didn't think it was worthwhile compared to camino finance so i have not touched it and sort of because i haven't touched it i don't know any updates on it because once again like when you prioritize stuff 
you have to shut things off. Like I, I, I don't, um, how do I put it? I don't just keep track of uh, protocols where, you know, I've already written off. So I read, I've written off margin fi. Brendan, you know, have you considered moving your margin fi lens and borrows over to Camino Finance? Um, I don't know when margin fi is doing their airdrop, but we already know that Camino Finance will be doing theirs in April and they're sort of measuring for the next 24 days. So you still have time if you want to get some points. I and mean, then maybe if you want to move it back after, so be it. Um, 81 in terms of say staking, uh, I don't, I would not stake stay right now. I would not stake stay right now. I have a tiny bit staked from my initial starting point, but I really hold the most, most of my say in uh, capital. And the reason for that is I want to be able to sell it once the price does a parabolic move. When you stake something, you are giving up your ability to be agile and respond to the market by taking profits, etc. And there's got to be a big enough payoff. Just because there's a staking button doesn't mean we do it. Right. So even with Matic, I had Matic so long unbounded, didn't stake it. And then once I saw exactly what they're doing with poll, that's when I clicked the button. So staking is there is an opportunity cost to it. It's not just free. When you stake, you're basically saying, hey, I'm locking in my funds. I have a period of law unlocking of 14, 21 days or whatever. And in that time period, I have no choice. So if the price of say like five X's and I know it's going to come down, I can't get out. And that's why you've really got to be critical and careful when you do it. Pure somatic since it's rebranding and possible rollups. And that's exactly it. So that's exactly why I wanted. And that's exactly why I posted about staking it um, about three to four weeks ago. And unfortunately, you have to stake it on Ethereum mainnet, uh, staking.polygon.technology, I believe is the address. But, you know, very interesting. Uh, Brendan Shaw, I hope you enjoy your margin. Oh, wow, that, that's savage. The Margin 5 merch, get a nice hat. Uh, Chroma worth prioritizing hasn't been talked about much. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think that's, that Chroma is worth prioritizing. I got two Chroma Guardian House NFTs. You guys probably remember when we did the Chroma Quest NFTs like two months ago. I was telling you guys, take them, sell them, the floor will go down. And that's exactly what's happened. When people don't prioritize things, things come down, but they will rise again. So I'm gonna I've actually been looking at collecting a few more of those. But remember, this is why when you know when I post that video, sell your Chroma Quest Master NFTs, people were like, no, no, the price is gonna go up. Oh, just take a look. Take a look, right? I, I got I got it in ETH and that ETH sort of went up. It was great. Did you input your keys from Argent Wallet to Martian? If so, did you find any W tokens? Yeah, I did, and uh, that's a dagger. I, I did not. I did not find any extra tokens for me. Uh, it was a little bit annoying. I also did the same thing uh, for my Aptos wallet. Still found nothing, which sucks. Um, yeah, so um, Stonks, I think Chroma is worth going for. Um, if you are interested, probably what I would do here is maybe go to Hyperlane. Hyperlane is their NFT marketplace. Maybe I'll look it up right now while we're doing this. Oh, sorry, not Hyperlane. Hypermarket. Hyperlane is a is a bridge that we use or a sort of interoperability. My bad. Oh, oh. everybody uses the word hyper. You know, like hyperliquid is for like the free markets and everything else like that. Uh, we're just gonna check out. I'm gonna open up and share the screen in a second. Here is the Chroma Quest Master. It's not bad. 0 0.02 at this price point. That's like 60, almost 80 bucks. Not bad. It was a hundred something. So this is definitely something you can consider. Um, the Chroma Quest Master NFT, uh, because this is sort of, you know, they're going to reward people who have this uh, when they go, uh, when they do the TGE event. Um, about Hydro Finance pre-order, will those injected be used to buy the Hydro token or be redistributed? Um, so it's half half. So half of it will be used to buy the Hydro token, and half of it will be used to buy the Hydro Injective LP token. So if you go to uh, the Hydro, let me just open up Mito Finance, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, oh God! Back. Uh, details here, over here. What you can see here is. Receiving token format, subscribers get 50% Hydro token and 50% Hydro dash injective LP token, which you can obviously unwind and get the Hydro token. 
Not all love is my friend. Yeah, no. I figured. <laughs> Thanks, though. Hey, Jen, what do you think is a nice bag of eigenlayer, eigenlayer points? Um, I think it really sort of depends for you. Um, we saw 750 was the minimum you needed to qualify for the alt layer eigenlayer. Um, kind of, what is it called? Like the, the gate. I believe I have something like 3,300. Let me just take a look. Take a look over here. Um, you know, at, the, at the end of the day, like, you know, I'm continuing to stake. I've got 3,200. So I'm continuing to stake or, or restake my ETH on Eigenlayer here. I got another two ETH on another wallet. Um, I think 3,000 is a good amount, but I mean, it really depends, right? We don't know until we see other protocols. And it's probably in the depths of the bull market where they're like, okay, well, we need the liquidity. And Eigenlayer is likely to do an airdrop when that happens as well. So I'm just going to like leave it here for now. There's no real downside. I'm you know, earning my native yield anyways, and I'm earning the points as well. Um, at a minimum, I'd want to have a thousand points though. That's what I'm going to say. Um, Scorpio, am I raising my stake to Pyth? Oh, because they said you had to be in the top 10%. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm still debating it. Right now, I'm going to wait till my Camino Finance is completed. Because just so you guys know, like the pipe airdrops so far have not been like amazing, right? Like, yes, wormhole would have been fantastic, but even then it was top 10%, I believe. And this is exactly why I said, you know, you want to make sure it's a PvP game. So where do you stand versus everybody else? I like to be in the top 10% of whatever I'm farming because this gives you the best shot of getting like a significant or a decent worthwhile reward. Do I know if Ambient is doing an airdrop? Um, so ironically, I was an ambient yesterday on blast. I had, uh, what's it called? I had staked a pool of us, uh, USDC and Ethereum. Um, I actually made money in their award, uh, rewards program. Like I got like 13 bucks for like, you know, what was like a day and a half, two days on blast. It only cost me $2 in gas to claim, but, um, I've been hearing murmurs of an airdrop in ambient. They haven't sort of done anything on blast. In fact, um, I don't, they don't, they're not giving out points on Blast yet from what I've seen. So um, you could do that. My recommendation, as always, is to kind of focus on the ones that are coming up. So I wouldn't even touch Ambient. If you, so, like the way I look at it, do you got your Eigenlayer sort of ETH staked? Perfect. You got your Solana, you got your Parcel, you got your Community Finance, great. You got your Pipe, great. You got your Tia, your Dimension, great. Um, for ambient, what well, because you have to deposit something, you've got to really make sure you got liquidity. And ambient's more of a nice to have. I had oh your you had your pipe split on two wallets. Yeah. So this is what I try to avoid, right? When people ask me, oh, how much should I put per wallet? I'm like, hey, if you can if you can make it to the top, top 10%, do that before. Once you do that, then maybe there's diminishing returns and going higher, but otherwise, yeah. Um, how would I rank these narratives? Um, it's hard to say because I think different time points will have kind of different mechanistics on this. So, for example, I'm just going to look this up. There is a special day coming up that is going to be very important. Um, where is it? Um, yeah. So there's a conference called GTC 2024, right? At GTC 2024... NVIDIA is actually going to release some breakthroughs and around like sort of computing, AI, and everything else like that. So in my opinion, I think the AI narrative in crypto is going to skyrocket around that time. It has not been priced in. Um, I think gaming is more something you see more in the depths of a bull market. Um, ZK rollups, I think once again, you know, they stink in sort of GPU and RWA, you know, don't know, we'll see. It's hard to do it, but I, I would say AI is probably number one overall. And then ZK rollups, gaming. Um, you know, I mean, the, the other one is kind of a scrum, right? It's hard to tell, but I think AI is probably the most important one. Um, you know, that being said, you know, for example, you say the word AI, and the Nvidia stock went up from 150 bucks all the way to 700. You know, so how much should we stake minimum Matic? In your opinion, I think this number always changes. Um, I don't know what the right number is. I I did it for 1500 Matic, and here's why. The Ethereum gas, and by the way, this is at Gwei 18. It cost me 30 bucks to get it fully staked and everything. And that was at Gwei like 18, right? So just keep that in mind. It's not, uh, 
if you're going to do it, make sure it's for a significant amount. I always tell people, don't just, um, you know, don't just click on something and sort of do it and go, okay, well, I'm going to give up 10% in fees for the amount. Make sure whatever fees coming out of it, then it doesn't make up more than one or 2% of what you're doing. Otherwise, why even do it? Um, DB Crip says, um, thanks again for your private live chat. I feel better today. Oh, hey, how are you going, Hamath? Um, you know, I hope you're doing well, dude. Like, you know, like, like I said, like, you know, I'm here to help you. And, you know, Hamath is part of our private group. Um, you know, one of the things that's super important, guys, is as crypto does more, like, you know, it's more prominent and it's doing better. The markets, you see all these scammers coming out. I, lit I literally, there, there are, you know, two people, there are two types of people I hate in this world. People who cheat people and people who steal from people, right? Cheating, cheaters and stealers. And these scammers are both. So, you know, one of the things I will tell people is, hey, like, please do whatever you can to avoid it. In the private group, what I do is I vet everything before I send it to people or before I post announcements. And that way I make it so people don't have to go and click on random links and look on crypto or Twitter to find something because people are always in a rush. I like sort of taking care of my peeps. On top of that, I also tell people to get wallet card, you know, put things in place, do the right things that will minimize this happening and by the way guys if you haven't already i made a guide on your full 2024 2025 crypto cycle i cover all of this including like you know what i'm going after how airdrop sort of work within that strategy how to keep secure even my strategy of having multiple banking wallets that sort of connect to a hot wallet that's still behind a um behind a hardware device using all of that to sort of come up with a comprehensive system to keep you safe Free to watch on YouTube. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Link is in the description. Margin fight airdrop will never happen. The devs are the biggest grifters I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. <laughs> um, how come the APY of JLP is 0.0%? Um, I don't think it's that. Um, Kjell, where are you seeing that? Um, may, maybe you can share that with me because I, I, I don't know uh, where you're seeing that. If I go to JLP earn... And I'm just gonna open it up. This is what I see, right? 184.45% APY. And as you can see here, 42% um, or 43% is currently in Solana, 9% uh, in Ethereum, 5.5% uh, is in Bitcoin, and about 42 to 43% is in stables right now. You know, pretty big um you know i see the price of this continues to go up as people gamble and as the price of solana and the price of ethereum and bitcoin also do well do you have any recommended validators for matic no but i would tell you guys the same thing i always do avoid centralized exchanges avoid top 10 if possible besides that you're good favorite l1 after soul it's ethereum i think ethereum will go to five figures this cycle i've been saying that since 2000 guys literally watch my videos from six to eight weeks ago Ethereum's at 2100 and people are like, why are you covering Ethereum? It's dead. No one's talking about it. I told you guys then it was, I thought it was going to five figures and we have doubled in the six weeks. I think Ethereum has done more in the last six weeks than pretty much any other token. I mean, besides the memes, right? Like the meme tokens have gone like 300 to 400%, but I think Ethereum is still a very powerful narrative and there's a ton of Ethereum being locked up in liquidity. So there's less to be sold on the market. Um, do I think G Gmail with Linea Scroll and ZK Sync are good transactions to do daily? No, I would not do them daily. So if you're farming, so if we're talking about farming transactions, please use a protocol like Wenzer or NFT Copilot or Earn3 to let you know how you're doing. Guys, I think you remember I showed you uh, how I was doing for ZK Sync. Uh, maybe three weeks ago, I was at like 70%. Now I'm at 90% for ZK Sync. But I don't do transactions that often. I wonder if I can sort of zoom in here. See here, like I've really stopped farming. I was farming like a lot, like pretty much daily, right? In the last like two weeks, you can see here I did like one, two, three, four, five, six, like, maybe like six or seven transactions over the course of a few weeks. Um, and that's really because the price has gone up, right? Like I'm not going to farm when gas is super high. So if you're, when you are doing it, make sure you're farming on a protocol where gas is not significantly high. Um, and if it is high, pick and choose. Don't do everything. Just do a few transactions, but make sure when you're doing it, you're doing it for significant volume because these transactions have a flat fee, 
um, unless you're doing a swap. When you're doing a swap, then you then the volume will hurt you. But if you're like depositing five thousand dollars onto Zero Lend, I'll give you five thousand dollars of volume. You don't you don't pay any extra percentage on it. You just pay a flat like fifty cents to a dollar. Same thing when you withdraw, and then you got five plus thousand dollars worth of volume on that day. So just something to consider. You can see here I'm at ninety percent now for zk sync. So you know, I hope I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, exactly. So I mentioned this in the uh, in the video I just did. Like I knew this would happen. The fact that they posted about their airdrop, they basically made it so that uh, you know your the increase in TVL was going to bound to happen. We're going to see this continue to happen. But top PI, there's another way to do this. Because to maximize on this, you have to get as you have to get a bunch of like, um, you know, Solana token or JLP. So if you grab those before them, they'll have to buy after you. So I expect that to continue to happen. So if you don't want to get into Camino Finance, this is my recommendation uh, as a thought. Look after Newt on Osmosis, still tiny, three point million. Yeah, but but guess what? It can be it can be one million. It can be fifty thousand. It doesn't matter. Like. Even if it's super early, Momo hands, are you here to sort of show something or like I'm gonna make this very clear. You see these comments when someone says this? All they want to say is, well, the market cap is small, so it's super early. Okay, well, great. TBG coin is only 50 cents right now. It's it's one dollar market cap. Oh my god, you guys are super early. Should you you wanna buy it? Is that a rationale to buy something? No. So just <laughs> I always laugh when I see this because these are people who are just hoping to peddle their own bags. Some of things. Is it possible to buy Chroma Guardian NFTs off the secondary? No, you cannot buy them yet. Um, the team made it so that they were locked until the token generation event happened. So uh, when we bought it, we have them soul bound to our accounts till I believe June. So one thing. Um Veer. So is that so I did you fill in that survey? I know you liked uh the, the tweet I put out after because I I obviously did it for you to get you the survey or the form link. Um, did they say that they marked your wallet as a cybel? You lost your trust the lab non cybel stamp. Bitcoin went 29 to 27, lost Galaxy Web 3 score. I only use one wallet. Um, maybe you can find out exactly why, because you could dispute that. Like I disputed the same thing with Ethereum. Like when they took away my stamp, I, I sent them a message and said, hey, like for, for Gitcoin Passport, why are you saying I'm not even a Gitcoin or a um, Ethereum amateur, right? Like, like, look how much I have. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and they basically said, okay, can you like flag everything you've done and like your wallets you use? I'm like, yeah. And I definitely sort of shared with them exactly as much as I needed them to know. Um, but in this case, if you truly only use one wallet, find out exactly what they mean. Like, so mention this. Like, hey, I have not done anything. Like, you want to make it very clear because you have a window of opportunity now before things get released. They said none of the allocations are final. Once they're final, then you can't do anything. So whoever told you this, follow up with them and say, I've only used one wallet. Here's what it is. Show me why you think I'm cyber. I don't get it. Because maybe you definitely want to have a better idea of what's going on. Hey, Large, what's going on? Uh, is that like a box of coffee or, or sorry, chips? Or what is that? Like, it looks like a Pringles container. How you doing? On Camino, the APY. Yeah, so, so don't worry about that. Remember, like, um, let me go to... Camino Finance and just take a look. Um, because I was looking at it, it was 180% when I was doing it. Are you looking at it in the right market? Is the question. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. It got reset to zero, but it wasn't zero before. That's so weird. Like so. That wasn't the case literally like a few hours ago. This was 180%. But that's very interesting. And thank you for pointing that out. I, I was not aware that they uh, removed it. I'm going to be interested to see why. If we look at JLP token over here, 91% of JLP is there. Hmm. Very interesting. That also means that I'm going to be uh, burning a bunch of money by borrowing this, but it doesn't matter because I still think GLP as a token will appreciate. So if you're long on something in this case, like in this case, I'm long on GLP, you know, the money I borrow, the 602 to buy this, 
I'm gonna get more money. I'm gonna get more USDC back when I sell whatever JLP I borrowed for that, and how much I spent on the 602 or the interest. Um, is there a video showing how to claim Saga on AVAX? I got 250 from Adam. Um, well, so Satoshi, have you? Let me just claim. So when you go here, right? You need to connect your wallet. So um, I connected Kepler last time. I went here. I approved this. Can you go down here and click on add EVM address in the bottom like right here? Sorry, do you see it um, right here? If you click this right here, you can then go add your MetaMask or whatever, and it will add your, your Avalanche, right? So EVM is sort of your Ethereum virtual machine. By doing that, that should unlock this sort of thing here for you right here, okay? Just make sure it's the right wallet that you connected to. A price prediction for W at launch. Well, I would say look at Hyperliquid. Hyperliquid had it uh, yesterday around $1.80. I believe it's sitting at $1.40 right now, but let's see. Yes, yeah, $1.43 to $1.47 buy sell. So, you know, I would just look at this to monitor sentiment. And my, my thought is I always see these tokens skyrocket once they launch so they always do way better than you think they will do that's been my learning from sort of taking profits on these airdrops for the bull market i have no idea no clue how it'll do long term but remember you want to make sure when when the token supply is limited that you take profits versus unless there's a compelling reason to hold it like staking or something how do i get a galaxy passport i believe i've done the steps i pay the matic fee but still passport holder won't let me get the checker um how what do you mean so if i go to galaxy should open it up we'll see what it says here so when you click on that button right there's two different types of galaxy id there's a web3 score and there's the passport so like uh it won't let me see it so this is what i see when i go to the passport right like um you pay the matic fee but you the pass the passport holder won't let you get the checker Sorry, what do you mean by, by passport holder won't let you get the checker? Uh, for humanity score, my humanity score stuck. So I'm like like the last person you should ask for this. It says one. I have no idea. It also says fame is level two. Like how much more famous can I get? I'm on YouTube and I got like 50 people watching me. I think that's like peak fame for me right here. Um, but for humanity, what it says is, you know, basically you've just got to uh, do a little more campaigns. And the, so that's what it said on when I looked it up on uh, Google and YouTube. H bar will leave the alt season and flip. <laughs> well, you definitely earned the title lunatic that, that you have in your uh, in your name. And coin flip, if you'd ever like to cross book, and I mean I will escrow whatever you'd like to whoever, I'm happy to make that bet with you. Opinions on scroll? I think it's a great I think it's a great protocol. Once again, we're here to farm it. Um, there will be some upgrades to Ethereum with the latest upgrade, the EIP, and the names of Denji or something. And the gas costs are going to come down. I think with Scroll, we're going to start seeing, um, I, I suspect maybe they will look at pre Dengi or pre EIP, whatever, and after just to be like, hey, like, you know, what is the actual, um, you know, loyalty of this person? Did they get into Scroll before or after that happened? I just checked Galaxy Passport, also lost humanity score, didn't even get airdrop. What do you mean didn't even get airdrop? Didn't get airdrop for what? Sorry, I'm confused. Uh, Veer, you did fill the survey. Thank you. No reply from them. Well, I would also go into their Discord, follow up with their moderator, say, hey, I have an extreme concern that, you know, I, here's what I did, and I have one wallet, and I'm surprised, and I would love to know sort of kind of, because they've provided very little clarity on exactly what the eligibility criteria was. You definitely want to talk to them in person. But yeah, you're welcome. Um, what's up with point for black? What are we supposed to do? Just claim your point token for now. It'll turn into black token in the future. Would you cover a video on pipe governance, please? When we vote on realms, I've noticed coins and NFTs in the dog wallet. I'm completely lost to as what they are and what I can do with them. Well, honestly, for governance, I always tell people um, just, just take a quick review of it and if you're not sure just abstain abstaining is the same as voting like all you care about is like voting to sort of 
make sure that you participate, whether it's abstaining, which means, hey, I don't know enough to make an informed decision. I don't want to skew the, uh, skew the vote. Or if it's very important, like I told you guys one time with the sale token that we had to vote for a certain way and they would reward us with sale We had to vote a certain way and they would uh, reward us with sale token. So that was sort of uh, kind of what we had to do. That was almost like a mic drop moment right there. I'm sad about margin fire now, although I can use a new hat. Hey, you know what? I'm just glad you found out now. I'm telling you, just, just jump over from the dark side or sorry, join us in the dark side. Join us uh, in Camino Finance. You know, I, I, I think it's the better move. And besides, whatever you earn on margin fire, it'll still be there. It's not like it's going to go anywhere. So just start farming Camino fi Finance while you've got like 24 days left. Uh, Veer, no one told you anything. I just noticed I couldn't verify Web3 score for Galaxy IONet quests. What? Oh, IO.net quest. Okay. Then I noticed how many trust and humanity score dropped yesterday. Yeah, so you want to find out exactly what's going on because I think this is very important. Um, I'm excited. Wow, you got 25k wormhole. Is that across like one or many wallets? Also, this guy looks ripped. I wonder if that's you. Um, I can see the other wallet connect. I just haven't done it yet. With AVAX, you've got to go through an extra step. It's not the same as Kepler. Well, you have to do a wallet connect, go to MetaMask, select AVAX, right? So I would definitely check that out. Will BitConnect make a comeback? No clue, buddy. I have no idea. Where do you hear about token releases? We mentioned W. Is there a good site to monitor to stay on top of new token releases? Twitter is great, but we get lost in the feeds. There actually isn't a good one. What you can just do is just Google it, right? You Google it, and remember, like, when you Google it, you want to make sure you go to trusted sources. Like, Binance is a good source. You don't want to go to, like, um, you know, a lot of people are using Medium to create fake articles and fake airdrop links to scam people. So you got to be careful. And that's why I say, like, knowing people is good because you can't know everything. And if you have a group of people who are looking out, you get more information. That's also why I try to bring it to this video. And when you ask a question about token releases, this is the other thing that scares me because everyone always wants to do too much. Everyone's doing too much. And the reality is less is more. Less is more. And just guys, focus, focus, focus. Going back to the initial image I showed here, what is your priority? What are you focused on? That's the most important thing. That's what you should care about. When there's a task to complete on Galaxy, I can't get the check mark because I don't have the passport. Um, sometimes on Galaxy, though, they give you multiple options. It's not always needing the passport. Um, you need like one of like three or four different things. But I would definitely go into the passport. Um, when you when you click on Galaxy, I, this is where I was confused, right? Um, go to Galaxy ID. Right? I've already done this minting of um, thing. Although the web, wow, this is maxed. Or I don't even know how it gets more than maxed, but whatever. Um, then you go to sort of passport. And I can't see it anymore, but you should be able to do it. Like, um, I wish I could help you, Yo-Yo Street. The problem is I don't see what you see right now. Um, yeah, so like my recommendation is go in there and ask their help. They have a help uh, site or something, right? Um, where do you hear about token releases? Oh, I've already went over this. DB Crypt asked. Guys, please don't ask multiple times because like I'm going to get to it. I Like I literally do it in order. So like... If you keep posting it again, like it just makes it really annoying for me. Did, you, did I make the Babylon campaign? Um, are you referring to the NFT token for sort of bridging on whatever? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, and by the way, I would sell. Sell like the wind. Stuart, can I withdraw injected from Hydro Protocol? Yeah, of course you can. What do you mean? Um, so, so, John, what I would recommend is if you want to farm... By the way, don't farm margin fi. Like, like I thought we just talked about this. Margin fi sucks. Camino Finance is so much better. Watch the video I made earlier, like half an hour ago or an hour ago, on the Solana airdrop alpha. Literally from today, like an hour ago. Watch that video. I talk about how to do it and how to do it in a profitable way, so you're not costing yourself fees, but in fact making money. In terms of it, withdrawing inject injected from Hydro Protocol, you can do it whenever you want. Just unbind it, and you're good to go. Do we know how long it will take for W to check for those who fill the form? No idea. I'm not the team. I'm not a, a mind reader. But um, if you're not getting a response, go to their Discord and ask them. Like, just ask them exactly what's up. It's not about the vote. It's about the coins and NFTs showing up on the realm. Sorry. Uh, 
what actual coins and NFTs are showing up on the realm? Maybe I'm missing something. Are you referring to tokens that are being airdropped to you? Because I'm all I also get that random stuff here and there. Um, Jay Brown Jen, thanks for answering my questions. I enjoy your videos. Are there any upcoming airdrops in the ecosystem? How's this? What I would tell you is um, anything for the most part, everything I'm gonna dump that, that comes out in the cosmos ecosystem. If there is something I plan on holding, I will let you guys know because I would obviously make a video on it. If I don't think it's worthwhile to make a video on, there's zero chance I'm going to be holding it. Does that make sense? Um, Galaxy Passport, do you need to give government ID? Yes, yes, I did. So here's what happened. I had to, I had to do it on a laptop because my iMac computer will not let me take a photo of it properly. It's so weird how they do it. But yes, you you will have to do that. What do you think about the Soul Chat technology wise? Honestly, no idea. I did buy the Solana Solana chapter two. Um I think I think uh you know what Phantom did yesterday with their wallet was fantastic. Now whenever or they're trying to make it so whenever an airdrop comes out you get a banner on your wallet letting you know Making it super easy. What I cannot wait for is the future where, like, you, like, in, instead of like having to claim airdrops, they should just be airdropping it to us. I know why they don't do it right now because this way, if they don't have, um, that way, if you don't have the, um, you know, you miss it, then more people sort of don't have to give, you know, get a bigger allocation, like, the, like with Dimension or, in some situations, um, you know, they just give out less airdrop. But still, I just think it's way better, way safer if they just airdrop it to us. We don't have to claim, especially on EVM chains, because like realistically, paying hundred dollars in gas is a piss off. Dow Walled on Realm, what is it, and what are the tokens? Yeah, so I I don't touch Realm, so that's probably why there's a disconnect. So like, I, I get what you're saying about the governance. I just don't get into sort of the Realm aspect. I'm into pipe because of you know because of that, but I'm in it because of everything else, including the airdrops. It gets me allocation. That's why. So I'm not as I'm not the best person to answer that question. Makes sense. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I said sell the Babylon NFT. I was thinking the same. Yeah, but guess what? You sell the NFT, you don't no longer care about the airdrop. So get the money up front for the airdrop, and who cares what happens? Yeah, and yes, Yo Yo Street. I get it, but guess what? Yo Yo Street. This was a free testnet campaign. Like, what do you mean? Like, a hundred dollars USD. It's I I think it's significantly overvalued in my opinion. It's up to you though. Like I said, I always prefer to err on the side of selling, and then as these sort of do well, or sort of sort of kind of fade out into obscurity, then you can buy back this NFT if you want to. But you know what's funny? That always happens. People never want to buy the NFT back. Like, watch, Yo Yo Street, if you sell this NFT for 100 bucks, when it goes to 70 bucks, I'm going to ask you the question, you want to buy it now? No. Watch. Like, literally, this happened with Chroma. This happened with so many others. And yes, there will always be exceptions. I cannot, with a sort of 100% certainty, say this is going to be the same way. But what I will tell you is that in the future, like, most likely, most of the time, these airdrops are never worth the sort of amount of the NFT. That's just my thought. But we'll see. Um, what are my feelings about? Uh, sorry, where is this? What are my feelings about this bull run, super cycle, short? And I, I think it's the same as always. You know, the, the number one thing I worry about, is, or not worry about, the number one thing I ignore is this time is different. Every time there's a reason, right? Last time it was sort of uh, jumped by the pandemic. This time it's sort of jumped by the ETF approvals and the Bitcoin halving on the horizon. Um, I do think there will be periods of drawdowns, but guess what? I think long term it's sort of a sort of straight line, not straight line up, but like kind of like a you know 45 degrees angle kind of thing where it goes up basically. Now, is this gonna last forever? No, I think it lasts for about 12 to 18 months. And then we start to see sort of more of this um kind of it coming down there'll be a point in time where you'll have to exit but hey just you know, keep that in mind don't get married to your bags get murray get married to your money and remember once this is done guys i want to i want to make sure i see you guys posting all over twitter on instagram whatever about what you're doing with the money you've made okay that's the most important thing we'll get there in 18 months my i meant to say so chat yeah i know for sure it might be included on solana too 
Solana? Yeah, hundred percent. Hopefully it does. I got the chapter two um, on the chapter two uh, mobile. Let's hope it works out. And Dave, yeah, you're welcome. Like I, like I said, I stake Pyth because it qualifies for a ton of airdrop uh, and everything bonus to it. Like, right? Would be nice to do if I had more free time. Unfortunately, I have a full time job and all these other things I got to do. Um, do I plan on staking a small percentage of my airdrops? No, I do not. So remember, if you get airdrop trash and the trash is overvalued, you should dump the trash as soon as possible. So that's why a lot of airdrops, I just dump it regardless. And then some I'll hold on to. To mention, I told you guys, I was holding on to it. And guess what? Now we're getting five to six airdrops. This is not rocket science. What you want to do is find the technology that actually makes sense. There's tons of startups and they all get all this liquidity. Our goal here is to filter through it. Remember, the goal is to prioritize. I am not looking over 300 tokens. I'm looking over 10 to 20 maximum. I am not trying to know everything. I'm trying to be very focused. And by doing that, you can make a ton of money. Guys, you don't, you don't have the capacity to, do, to, to monitor everything. And if you do, you're going to be terrible at monitoring all of them. You're going to be so bad at it. The quality is going to be terrible. And you're not going to put the right effort in. That's why I don't do that stuff. Where am I checking where people buy and sell? Uh, what do you mean? Are you referring to Hyperliquid where I showed um, like the pre-market for Wormhole or what? Um, I think it really depends on what you're referring to. You can use Deck Screener for things that have launched. You can use Avo. You can use Hyperliquid for stuff pre-market. A lot of times you'll find it on Twitter as well because people will be talking about this. That's information. Mad Lads Holder got 16K. Oh, nice. That's sweet. But Mad Lads is like 180 Solana tokens. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Toshi says, gotcha. I hope you all do well. Guys, we will. Remember, last um, last bull market, only like 10, 15 to 20% of people actually kept their money. This time, I wanted to make sure that 100% of the people who watch my videos, besides the person who was trying to show HBAR and tell me HBAR was going to flip Solana, I think they're going to end up in an institution. <laughs> but besides that, I think most people, hopefully we all do well. So we'll see. What's the ideal Galaxy Web3 score? Not sure, but hey, try to try to sort of get in there as early as possible. You know, that's sort of my thing here. Just try to get as high as possible. My plan is to buy land in three. I don't know what box. Oh, boxable. I've seen the thing. This is a, a sort of unit, the white thing that sort of folds up. That's cool. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I have already have land. In fact, I, I own a lot, a, a big portion of real estate. I plan on putting, I have not spoiled myself for three years, dude. Like, what I will say is, I was in Dubai and, uh, you know, I was asked, are you going to buy a watch or a Rolex? Are you going to buy like, you know, diamond, like chains and bracelets? Nah. I'm like, I need to put this money in Bitcoin. October, I remember I was like, yo, I'm sitting there buying Bitcoin. You know, people were around me buying all this, all this great stuff. And I'm like, no, can't do it because this money is going to be worth four to 10 X at least in like a year to two years. And then when I'm taking profits, I'm going to go. Ham. I'm going to be buying all these things for myself. Obviously, you know, keeping, you know, majority of it for later, but like the goal is to do this. We'll see. I'm a gem for the crypto community. Oh, you know, Black Rabbit, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Satoshi says great advice. Not a problem. What's the best EVM address for Pi Profile? What do you mean? Like, um, I would just, you should have one wallet, your big wallet that is sort of having the ETH mainnet experience and all that. Like, basically, what pro what what protocols are trying to do is they're trying to find out are you a real person so which of your profiles has the best footprint make that your so-called hot wallet make that behind what make that behind a sort of um uh, behind a, a sort of hardware wallet of sorts and use that one because when they look and oh what's your evm history how long have you been around how long has the wallet been having transactions this is what I like to sort of incorporate. And those wallets tend to do way better on cyber checks because they've lasted way longer. That's my thing. Uh, I'm laughing uh, probably about the institution comment. Uh, I'm selling now and you can find the activity in the OKX wallet. All right. So Yo-Yo Street, market. Today is March 7th. March 21, I want you to come on one of the videos right after that and tell me what the price of that NFT is, okay? Tell me what the price of that NFT is. I want you to tell me at that point if it's lower, are you buying it? Okay, bet. Let's do it. Um, any tips on how to get the golden visa? Okay, so two things. Um, so golden visa is not just for Dubai. It's for a ton of places. Um, here's what I've been looking at. So two ways to get golden visa. The easiest way is to set up your own company. 
It's going to be the cheapest way. You set up your own corporation, you make yourself the sort of primary person. Um, you just literally say whatever you want to do. Like you can file whatever you want to do. File that. It costs like, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks or 10,000 bucks or whatever. But that way you can do it. Set other people up as your employees and they can all come in. Not a problem. They get a work visa. They can be in Dubai. That's probably the easiest way. To get the golden visa, however, what you need to do is... Um, you need to do you need to uh buy some property now you don't need 5.5 million aed worth you just need um i think it was 600 or 700 thousand usd worth uh of equity in a property so that's like 2.1 million aed because it's a three to one exchange rate and then um you know but it cannot be finance it's got to be straight cash you do that and you're sort of golden so that's sort of the approach I'm choosing to take, uh, just because it's more uh, longevity. And then what you can do is you can do these sort of um, short-term or long-term um, kind of, uh, what do you call it? It's like when you rent out your property in Dubai, there's a lot of companies that will do that. And then, so you do that. So that's where you have your, your residence that does that. And then you just literally rent your own place for the period of time you stay in Dubai. It's like, you know, like clockwork. Very, very easy. Um, to get to that strategy, I have to watch a ton of videos. So that's, you know, my thoughts on it. Obviously, you know, everyone is different. Uh, what percentage of my investment net worth do I plan on putting back into crypto next cycle? So here's the scary part. I think next cycle, it will be immensely difficult. Airdrops will be almost impossible. But I also think that the institutions will be in full force and the amount of value you can create in crypto will almost be minimal. That's why it's so important to go super hard right now. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to do, but likely probably I'll treat it more like I treat stocks in the future, not like I treat crypto right now. Do I think this bull cycle is going to pump into 2025? I likely think so, but I think it ends in 2025. Um, maybe like sometime in the middle. We'll know, right? We'll know because Bitcoin will be sort of U-turning a bit, but meme coins will be going like 30 to 40 to 100% daily for a couple of days. When that stuff starts happening consistently, we'll know we'll have to start exiting. We'll know because we start seeing all the telltale signs. People asking us, oh my God, how do I get into crypto? We see it all over the news. People thinking that it can never go down and that's the time it'll go down. So it's a, it's a sort of confluence of signals. My farming mode, uh, I am, and I would show you how many points I have. However, um, because I live in Canada, it will uh, automatically not let me into mode. I'd have to switch my internet on uh, to a different sort of network to get in there, which I could do, but then I will disconnect the stream. I don't remember offhand, but I know it was significant and most of it's due to referral. So I want to thank you all uh, for using that referral code. I was, I think, one of the first people on YouTube to post about it because I posted about it five minutes after they went live. Um, am I doing Zeta and Tensor? Uh, no, not really. I did, I did Zeta. Um, I have sort of Zeta chat chain, I think, but I'm not really focused on it. Once again, it comes back to priorities, right? So I'm prioritizing farming L2 chains. I'm prioritizing sort of like a Solana ecosystem. So like I said, tons of ways to win. You guys got to figure out for yourselves what you want to prioritize and become experts at it. That's the number one key. You'll never become an expert if you're running around doing everything. One of the same things, Zachary. I give you my opinion. Remember, not set in stone. I'm not a financial advisor, and I definitely can't tell the future. All right, Zoyo, I'm looking forward to that. Mark that in calendars. We'll get to it. All right, guys, we're 53 minutes. You know, I want to thank you all for watching. Guys, if you haven't already, please share the video, like the video. You know, it's so hard to get views on videos like this because it's sort of on an AMA, but I, you know, I want to keep bringing this to you guys. Uh, and if you haven't already, you know, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.